kuela. So the rains never came when he was building. They were waiting. The winds waited for him to finish the building. The day he finished, the winds said, here we come. What did the winds do? And he beat upon that house. They beat upon the house. And it fell not. The house resisted the beating of the winds. For it was founded upon the rock. Because it was on the rock. Verse 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine. There is another group which hears the sayings of Christ. And toward them not shout. And then they will pause for. After a foolish man, they will become like a foolish man. Which built his house upon the sand. He built the house upon the sand. He said, ah, going to the rock, it's very difficult to make a foundation of the rock. No, let me just go to the sand. He just removed the sand and started building the house. And the rain descended. The rain were waiting again. And the flood. I like the rain and the floods and the waters. They don't come while you're building. He said, ah, that guy doesn't think it properly. Building a house on a rock. It doesn't know that it takes time to make a foundation of the rock with me of what the sand. Now shall the No one replied. He was preaching. He was teaching. So, in the 
an issue. The issue is you want to be. That's why they go to the mountain. Now I got the prophets. Those on YouTube, you know, on Facebook, you know this. You will find them in a mountain with a cell phone. That I'm in a mountain praying for you. Connect now. <laughs> they love to stand in street corners so that they can be what? That was Jesus still preaching. It goes up to chapter number what? To verse number what? Chapter 6 goes to verse number what? So Jesus spoke Matthew chapter number 5. He finished the whole chapter alone. Chapter number 6, he was preaching alone. Chapter number 7, he was preaching alone. And he said, Whosoever hears these sayings, You'll be like a wise man. <laughs> then I want us to go from chapter number seven to ten. So in chapter number seven, he has a saying, he said, I want us to work on it. Why? Because it's killing us today. A lot of people, they are silenced, they are brainwashed, they are turned into zombies because of Matthew chapter number seven, verse number one. What does it say? Number one, what does it say? Judge not. So, these are the sayings of Jesus. Jesus said, If you hear them and you do them, if you hear them and then he said, Judge not, so that you are not also what? This is the boat cutter, this is the screwdriver, this is the pliers they are using today. If they speak, they preach rubbish. So, I say this is the judge not. <laughs> no, they, they teach you wrong things. They say to then you ask a question. But, but pastor, the way they judge not. Why are you talking about Bushi? Judge not. Why are you talking about Makabu? Judge not. You say the judge not. That he be not what? Judge. So if you hear this saying and you do it. Now when you hear Jesus saying if you hear. He is saying if you understand. Uses the word hear. He's not talking about hearing a sound. He's talking about understanding. That's why in John chapter number 2, verse number 18, you can confirm with your Bible. Jesus said, Destroy this temple, I'll build it in three days. They thought they heard him. They said, No, 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 you cannot build this temple in three days. Our father stood for six years. They thought they heard him. Then John said, ah, Jesus was not talking about their temple. He was talking about his point. He was saying, kill me, I will resurrect you. What? So did they hear him? When Jesus says, if you hear, he said, if you understand, and you do. So if you understand, the judge not, you are good to go. Why well, judge not was explained in verse number two. So I want to start from verse number one and enter into verse number two. Judge not that he be not judged. Judge not that he not be judged. For with what judgment he judge? For with what judgment you judge? He shall be judged. You shall also be judged. And with what measure he makes? And the measure he used to judge, it shall be measured to you. The same measure shall be used. So the issue is not judging. The issue is the measure. First Corinthians chapter number two. Let's talk about the measure. Let's talk about the so judging is not the issue. The issue is the measure. You are using to judge. Is judging wrong? No. Why am I saying so? Verse number two. The measure is the issue. What could this do start from verse number 12? Now we have received. We have received. Not the spirit of the world. Not the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God. But the spirit of God. What we might that we might know the things that are that we may know.
if you give us a verse, we open the Bible, we take another verse, we do lie upon, like comparing spiritual things with spiritual. A lot of people they are misled today because of do not judge. The pastor said, bring it tithes and offer it. But pastor, did you read the Tony 20? 14, 22, 23. But do not judge me. <laughs> what does verse 15 say? What's the one the Corinthians? Verse 15. I want you to hear verse 15. But he that is a spiritual. He that he has the one spirit. That does all things. That's what? Yeah, repeat that verse. But he that is a spirit. He that is born of the spirit. Judges all things. Jesus said to not judge. <laughs> Jesus was saying you don't have the Holy Spirit. So you cannot discern between the spiritual things and what? Look at this. Jesus was saying, he was speaking to people who had no Holy Spirit. So he said, do not judge. Why? They may say we truth is wrong. You need the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, you will judge all things. Now you have the measure. So are we not supposed to judge? We are supposed if you are not spiritual, don't judge. If you are spiritual, judge. 1 Corinthians 2.15, repeat that verse. But he that is a spiritual judge of all things. He that is spiritual judge of all things. Yet he himself is judged for But no he man. is not judged of any man. Why? Because the spirit which judges to us. So if you arise and say, I'm a prophet, we'll say, okay, prophesy. After finishing, we'll say, preach the word of God. What do we say? Professor, you're finished. Now preach. The moment you just touch it, preaching a wrong talk, you say, you're a false prophet. We're finished. Because we need a measure. Right? Acts number 17. Is it true that we should judge all things? Look at what happened in Acts number 17. Say from this chapter. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas. Now Paul and Silas were in trouble. I think you know this thing about it. About Paul and Silas in the prison. The one he used when you are an entitled to corners. Say, go to deliver the Paul and Silas. Deliver me from this poverty. When in tight corner, physically, their physical boat was in a tight corner. They brought them out. Repeat this about him. And the, and the brethren immediately sent away for a messiah at yes. night unto Berea. So they let them away at night. Who coming, who coming kind of went into the synagogue of the Jews. When they went to Berea, what they do? They went into the synagogues of the Jews. These were more noble. Now, the men of Berea were more noble than those at Thessalonica. Why were they noble? Why were they wise? Why were they noble? In that they received the word with all readiness of mind. Yes. And searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Why were they searching scripture? They wanted to prove. They wanted to prove whether the things Paul was preaching were too old. You know, if our pastor says, do this, you don't say to I'll come about this. That's why up to now, we have people who say, my prophet says, my papa said, my spiritual father said, they have more of the things from men than the things from the will of God. That's why they are killed, but do not judge. They are men at the real. You know, Paul is one of the most writers in what? In the New Testament. After Paul had finished the preaching, they took their Bibles. And he said, Paul quoted Isaiah. Is it so? Paul said, we should do this. Is it so? Were they judging? No. You are not, don't judge. Let God do, be the judge. That's a rubbish doctrine. It's a doctrine coming from people who don't understand it. When you have the Holy Spirit, you descend between false prophets and the true prophets. False teachers and two true teachers, false pastors and two pastors. The men at Berea were more noble. Why were they noble? They were searching to see whether what Paul said is true or it's what. If it was false, they would come and say, Ah, but Paul, and I come so now on a verse here, I tell you, man, they were very noble. Now we have a party which is full of zombies. But they don't ask the man of God. 
especially if it's coming from the mountain. It's on the mountain. I saw another one last week. This week, three because of the last week. Sleeping on his stomach like this, with the gasoline for like Shaka Baba, Shaka Baba. I'm praying for you. Shaka Baba, connect him now. Shaka Baba, get away. Don't you know that Jesus said, Do not you preach in what? Street corners so that you can be seen. Why are you feeling? It's a feeling, Shaka Baba. Get away, go home and eat. What do you mean? The wondering thing is that I said, I can eat my own body for the glory of God. If you tell them the truth that this guy did not read to Matthew chapter number six, verse number five and six, this is judge not. I'm spiritual. I judge all things. The spirit man judges all things. Do you say hallelujah to everything? Hallelujah. No, I was laughing. I wish I had downloaded that video. I was going to show you. The man was laying down on a mountain. He saw in this mountain. Connect now to receive. Hey. And I'm saying, no, I connect, I connect, I connect. For me, I want to see what happens when he has finished. What did you receive from your connection? The spirit of man judges all things, but himself is judged of no one. So, what does Jesus mean by judgment? He said, if you use the wrong measure, that measure will be used against you. But if you've got the Holy Spirit in you, you have the right measure. This sin between good and bad. That's what God is saying. First of all, let's see Matthew number 7. What did he say? Enter ye in by the narrow gate. Enter ye by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate. Now, how do you know this is narrow, this is wide? Judge him. <laughs> You need to judge which one is now, which one is white. Even if that's not just not that, okay, it's too white, you are a Roman Catholic. Can you see? Even people smoke, you just say, come, this gate is too narrow. Oh, thank you. Roman Catholic, so right now they have finished the service. They are already doing it. We turn to the government now, drinking is later. <laughs> Maybe they will make their services longer. Because the government, that, oh, if they find them, <laughs> Okay. 
the dead. So you can just die and they will pray for you and you end. This gate is too wide. I'm telling you, you just die, then they will pray for you and receive you. Ah, this gate is too wide. Read the first page. Enter in by the narrow gate. Yes, the narrow gate. For wide is the gate. Wide and broad. And broad is the way. Yes. Leading to destruction. That way leads to destruction. So you need to evaluate. This is too wide. It's going to destruction. This is narrow. It's going to eternal life. Verse 14. And many there be which go in there. Many are already in. That's what I love about this verse. Many are already what? In. Now, read verse 14. Because straight is the gate. Because narrow is the gate. And narrow is the way. And narrow is the way which leads where? And leads and the light. Yes. And the few there be that fire. Are you seeing the difference? Narrow is the way which goes to the light. You will find it. Broad is the gate which goes to eternal condemnation. Men are already in it. They are already. So, the one which goes to eternal life, they are already in it. So, when it goes to condemnation, they are already. You don't need to find it. Look at the difference. Verse 14. A few, they are being that you find it. Verse 18. They are already in So, you are born in the broad world. But, you need it. Matthew number 6, Matthew number 7 It's only Jesus speaking So what's it to do with 
charge. It's Caesar. Who said to be aware of false prophet? It's Caesar. Some of you think about Jesus. Now, if we know the false prophet, I wouldn't charge him. You see, you didn't understand. I said the measure you're using is wrong. When you put the Holy Spirit, when you are spiritual, you will judge all things. Now you begin to know this false prophet. This is what? Not. Let no one deceive you by saying do not judge. If you do not judge, you will be like a foolish man, a foolish man who built his house on the sand. I will come to the foolish man very soon. Look at this. Matthew 7, 15. Beware. Beware of false prophets. Yes. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. They don't come out with your name here. False prophet, false prophet. No. They come like sheep. But anyone. They come with what? Sheep clothing. For a sheep to remove its skin, it must die first. So how does a false prophet get a clothing of a sheep? He kills another sheep. Uh, there is a lot about Bibles in here. Just in this verse, there is too much about Bibles. They come behind the Bibles. <laughs> they have certificates. Nenzeko, Living Waters Bible School. Nenzeko, Bethlehem Flora College of Theology. I know. And they begin to speak. Ma, 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 ma. My Greek went, my Hebrew went. This is me to come with, with very big words. This guy speaks to God. He's not speaking to God, he's speaking about what he learned in his school. He should speak Aiso. My friend, do you know that there are people who speak Hebrew? They were born Hebrew, but they are not saved. And you are afraid if someone comes here and speaks a Hebrew word, say, ah, he's spiritual. There are people who are born Hebrew. Most of those Islamic guys, they speak this. Is it? Yes. We have in Israel. What language do they speak? So if another man in black comes and say, Epikaiso. <laughs> you say, ah, oh, this man knows God. I had another man who is in the States. He comes from Zimbabwe. He was speaking tongues in its shore. And the white people were there because they don't understand the shore. They were receiving and so is it. I'm coming to you. People who understand Shona, they, they testify with me. He was in church, he said, I'm speaking what? He was just speaking. I, I will bring that video to you. Because at one point then, he spoke about Zambia. And people say, the Zambia cried, when you go to see spiritual, they were sowing seeds. He was speaking to Shona. And as we heard the Shona, I was like, wow, these whites are so foolish. <laughs> I'll bring this video, I promise you. I'll bring it next week. And he went to him. And he said, So, another lady cries. He was putting an offer. He said, Wow, what a, a, a foolish white person. But what white people are wise. They come in the ship, they'll be like they're speaking tongues. Yet they are hypnotizing you. How do they come? Do they come and say, I'm a false prophet? No, they come with the Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. With the shiny suit, if you if you see the suit, you think, ah, this one is anointed. Yet the gospel is not in the suit, it's in the spirit of a man. That's why John, John, the one who's called John the Baptist. How many know the way John used to dress? He used to put a camel skin. Everything he has was just a skin of an animal. But you look at the gospel he was coming from him. Even Jesus said, of all the people who were born of a woman, no one is above John. Did he have a good to lean any fabric? No. no. Ah, if you're a child of God, you don't eat. You don't need to eat your rebel at Ipua. John was eating locusts. <laughs> not not Ipua. Locusts. Imagine a big man like John running after locusts. Because if the Bible says he was eating locusts, it means he used to catch locusts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now imagine John has gone to look for food. A big man is so under. Dirty. Ah, you want to be serious, man. <laughs> but see, you see, you see that man John chasing after those things. He's greater than everyone. He's born of a woman. Vocabulary after vocabulary. But listen to what he's teaching. Mom, we 
your job? Confused to me. Jesus said, Not everyone who 
Bible says Lord, the Lord. Right? The next event, they come. What are they saying?
John swallowed the fish. <laughs> so how are you prophesying <laughs> if you don't know that it's the fish which swallowed the John? <laughs> ah! I open the book of Marit. <laughs> is this the book of Martha here? of God. How come he doesn't know script? Prophecy is not a measure of anointing. Miracles are not a measure of anointing. Why? For we have a sure word of prophecy. The spirit which interprets the word of prophecy accurately is the spirit of prophecy. Here is the verse. Judgment. The words of his heart are judgment. 
And all his commandments are sure. His commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. They stand forever and ever. And are done in truth and uprightness. They are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He sent what? Redemption. Natasha said, I was sent to redeem you. So, is Natasha the redemption? She's claiming to be false Christ. Continue. He sent redemption unto his people. Yes. He has commanded his covenant forever. He has his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. What is his name? Holy and reverend. Why is she called reverend Natasha? She, so, that is a God Natasha. We can actually remove everything. Go to Natasha. Repeat that part. Holy and reverend. Holy. He has commanded his covenant forever. Yes. Holy and reverend is his name. Now what about reverend Natasha? Isn't she the false Christ? Anglican. How many know the doctor of Anglican? My reverend so back. So we do our own. 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 New Apostolic Church, Wapunzira, Wapasa, Wanga, Reverend. We have Reverend at our workplace. We have a Reverend. And they want to force Christ. The Pharisees sit on the Moses. They force Christ. They sit on Christ's seat. Some are claiming to be founders of the church. The church which Jesus founded 2021 years ago and in a founder. Just go there as you are going to, to China, the junction, the Ibex China, you find a very big post of Imakado, founder of Bread of Life Church. How many churches do we have? You know what to do it? You present I want to show you that everyone who claims to be a founder of a church is a liar and is a false Christ. Everyone who claims to be a founder of a church is a what? A liar. And every church treating as a church, if you hear any, any, any group calling themselves church, that group is a false church. Why? There's only one church. Every other thing is a ministry. So if you hear, be Goka. Bible church of this and that is wrong. Why? There is only one church, the church of Christ. Every other part is a ministry which fits into the church. The church which is one. The first thing you need to know that this is a church, this is a wrong doctrine or not, is the name. Full gospel church of God. We are a church. So, God calls ministers and he gives the ministries. Because Christ is the owner of the church. There is only one church in the universe. The church of Christ. He presents sin. For where a testament is. Where a church is to be founded. There must also of necessity. It is necessary. Be the death of the testament. The one who founds the church must die. Right. Who died for the church? Christ. So if Ima can't think of the founder of bread of life. Did he say he died for bread of life? Is it duty in Shima by still? Christ. <laughs> hey, I found them and they are still alive. 
fact there is a testament it is of necessity that they found a master what? that's why Christ died for the church so how many churches do you have? so it's Bigoka part of the church Roman Catholic church Church of God. You can continue. Matthew 24. I want us to read from verse 23. Then, um, then if any man shall say unto you, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there believe it. Or if he says there is Christ, some are saying. Some are not saying yes, Christ. Some are saying there is Christ. So they say, do you want to deliver God to worship? Do you want to go? They are just pointers pointing. They are saying there is Christ. Believe you not. You can continue. For there shall arise false Christ. False Christ. Very friendly. Auntie, finish the visit. 
and he is paid as a dragon. <laughs> if you look at it, Nigambele, when you say hallelujah, it becomes a dragon. <laughs> First problem of the dangerous. When we, remember Jesus said, they come in his ships, what? But inside. So they, they, it looks like a lamb. So when, when God looked at it, he said, it's a lamb. When it's still, he said, oh no, it's a dragon. That's what they do. When they come, they go as a soul team. You think they are not of God? When they say, they saw a ship, saw a ship. <laughs> if you saw a small one, God won't bless you. But if it does not inconvenience you, it does not touch you, it cannot help you. Then you say, a seed. Then you have a five part. Then you say, if it does not inconvenience you, it cannot prosper you. You want to come over and be in the How many have seen this movie or film called The Jurassic Park? It's a very old film. It's a dragon. A dragon is not friendly, my friend. It chews almost everything. But when it comes, it looks like a lamp. The head looks like a lamp. So Jonah said, No, it's a lamp. You know, they Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Dracula. That's a dragon. This is a truth. And he exercised all the power of the first beast. He exercised all the powers of the first beast before him. And and he caused the earth and the them which dwell telling to worship the He caused the earth and the people in the earth to worship the dragon. Are you seeing that? So he comes and he sees, but he's causing he's drawing people to what they want. You begin saying, I'm a spiritual father, I'm a spiritual father, I'm a spiritual father. But Pastor said, open for me Hebrews from your Bible. Chapter number 12. Start from this number. I want to show you something about spiritual fathers. Because up to now we still have people who say, What's wrong with spiritual fathers? What's wrong with spiritual fathers? Poor seed, my son. Did the people say my father? Who has ever thought of them? Poor seed, my son. My question is, did the demon also say my father to Paul? Hebrews 12, start from verse number 9. Post people do not say, hey, post it, my son, to Timothy. Post it, my son, to Titus. Did Titus say, my father, to Paul? Hebrews 12, start from verse number 9. You don't get that. Anyone who thinks I'm rich. Hebrews 12, 9. Hebrews 12, 9. Yes. Furthermore, we have our fathers. We, we have what? Fathers. Fathers of what? Flesh. flesh. In other words, you have your own father. How did you come into the world? You have a father. Whether you know him or you don't know him, but you know him. Listen. So, flesh. We have what? Fathers. Men. Which corrected us. These are the fathers who sent us to school. So, if we eat school fees, they will beat us and don't eat school fees. And we gave them a reverence. We respect them as our fathers. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father? Unto what? Unto what? Unto the Father. Unto the Father. How many are they? One. Unto the Father. The Father of what? Spirit. What is the Father of the Spirit? Spiritual Father. What is the Father of Spirit? How many are they? One. Is it human kind of supposed to be? And to continue. We have to know who is he. And he alive. And he live. Yes. Let's take. Yes. For they very real. For they are biological fathers. A few days. They just said us. As after their own place. But, but he. he but he. That he is a capitulate. For our profit. For our profit. That we might be partakers of his holiness. So he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be uh, the one who gives us holiness. No. It's obvious. It's Jesus Christ. So who is the spiritual father? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. God. So if a man says I'm a spiritual father, he's claiming to be your God. Because you get your holiness from your spiritual. So if you say I'm a son of Bushir, you're saying my holiness comes from Bushir. If you say I'm a son of Imakan, you're saying my holiness comes from Imakan. If you say I'm a son of Bulifula, you're saying my holiness comes from Bulifula. And we refuse to be such children as our father is God. Why? Who was supposed to be spiritual father? You say, hey, Titus, Titus was supposed son. Hey, so Titus was a spiritual father. Who was supposed to be your father? Who was Peter? 
spiritual fan. Do you want, want a number of books in the Bible who are strong spiritual fan? If you don't have a spiritual father, you will not go far. How can Paul wrote more books than anyone else who didn't have a spiritual father? There's only one spirit. That's what he said. Call no man father upon the earth. For how many? One. one. Is your father. Where is he? In heaven. So what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Talk it up. Figure up. Figure up. So the woman just said to have any spirit of father who does not do anything. You are in trouble. I'm not about your spirit of father in Nigeria. And I'm married at TV Jusho. So I'm going to see you all. Mary's womb for how long? Nine months. 
Mary was supposed to vibrate for nine months. Was in the anointing. Jesus was anointed with the spirit and power. But he lived in Mary's womb for many months. Mary never said, We are anointing, Mumara. Yeah. That's what we are anointing. Those are deceptions. They perform wonders for you to believe in them. Go to the next verse. Verse the question of Revelation 13. Whose deadly wound was healed? No, verse 18. Verse 18. There is like verse 18, yes. And he did, did great wonders. What does he do? Great wonders. Did they say he preaches so much? There is a way to only the teaching of the word. The spirit which wrote the word must interpret the word. There are many spirits that can do miracles, but there is only one spirit that can interpret the word correctly. Okay? There is only one thing to say, if you want to know this man is called of God or not, give the King James. To interpret the word. I don't say there is a man who has been bothering us, those who are at ministers on our pages, you know him. He said to me, I want to come out and prophesy to church, get away. I said, send me five sermons where you preached. Before we invite you to come and prophesy, send me how many sermons? Five. He couldn't show five sermons, just five. Not men. Five. He said, I, yes, I'm seeing the way you're doing on your, on your pages and your YouTube. It's there, it's great work there. Let me come and prophesy. He said, before you come, send me five sermons. The first one he said to me, just that he was on the phone like this. <laughs> I said the same one. And he said a prayer. <laughs> okay. now, you send me three things. Of all those three things, they will all say one. That for now I can't invite you. That's it. Why? They do great wonders. But how do we tell? You can move on. I want to go to the two builders and close. They do get water so that he make a fire come down from heaven. Did the Bushiri call fire from heaven? Not like you. Talk about things which happen. Bushiri made the fire light in change. And that is small chemistry which we ask chemistry teachers can do. You may be lying on it. Fire, fire, but I don't know what you will saw. Have you ever heard in the Bible when the fire of God came with a smoke? Have you ever done that? It started smoking and then fire came from the smoke. A very simple chemistry experiment. Yes! So that he may get fire come down from heaven. Yes! On the earth in the sight. Verse 14, verse 14, verse 14. And he deceived. Why does he go fire? To deceive. That's why he, he, this guy has become rich. Ushi. He deceived them, he called them of their money. They saw fire, they said, Oh, no, no, this guy is connected to God. Let us give you money, we'll be rich. He ran away with the money, he's in my life. Revelation 16. Revelation 16. Let's see another. Start from verse number 18. Start, Revelation 16, start from verse number 18. And I saw the there oh I saw three unclean spirits. I saw three unclean spirits. Like frogs. They look like frogs. Out of the mouth of the dragon. Do you see that dragon which was speaking? The voice were like unclean spirits, which looked like what? Frogs. Out of the mouth of the beast. And the false prophet. This continue. For they are the spirits of devils. When they speak, they speak of the devils. Working miracles. That's why God is still emphasizing. Be careful. Am I saying miracles are wrong? No. Yeah. But after performing miracles, you want to hear you teach. Period. Papa, we have seen that you can do miracles. Thank you. Yes, King James. Open any verse of your choice. Explain it. If you listen to people who think they have been preaching for years, 
They do not live in one cell. Tell you, go right now and check Imam Kandos YouTube channel. Come out with one cell. Bring it to him. We listen to it. There is no cell on that. Yes. Which go forth unto the kings of the earth to what? and of the world, of all world. Yes. To gather them to the so he is gathering people a battle against God. Beware. Now, if Jesus said do not judge, why did he say beware of false prophets? Why did he say enter through a narrow gate, leave the wide one? Why did he say you shall know them by their fruit? Did we understand what he meant by do not judge? Let's finish with the parable now. We have heard the sayings of Jesus. Matthew 7, verse 24. We want to just hammer this very fast and we explain it and we go. Therefore, therefore, whosoever hear this saying, the sins are just from discussing of mine, yes, and that dealt them, I will like, liken him unto a wise man. Yes. Now, what did the wise man do? Verse 25. And the rain descended. And, and they I like him unto the wise man, the something which means the which built his house upon the rock. What did the wise man do? He built his house upon the rock. When he was building, rains never come, winds never come, floods never came. The day he finished, winds came. The house is the new testament church. But in number 16, I want you that the wise man is Jesus. And when we hear his words, we will be like, like you. When you listen to the words, you give them, you become like Jesus. We build his church upon the foundation of the rock. Matthew number 16. Matthew 16. Start from verse number 13. Start from verse number 13, yes. When Jesus came into the coast of, of Caesarea, of Caesarea, yes, Philip, he asked him. He said to Philip. He said, he said, he said to the disciples, say, whom do man say that I? People, what are they saying about me? The what son, are they? The son of man am. He is this fourteen. And they say, they say, some say that thou art. John the Baptist. Some some say Elijah and others Jeremiah or one of them. You are one others are saying you are one, other, say you're one of the prophets. Like he, this he, guys you want watch out. This is just, just one of the prophets. I don't know where people like that. Watch out, they say Jesus is one of the prophets. Then Jesus said, Okay, I'm here to watch people are saying. What are you also saying? Unto them, but whom say ye? Okay, I'm here about people. What about you? What did the disciples say? Did Simon Peter? And the Simon Peter answered and he said, Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. What's the meaning of the Christ? Christos. Christos. Yes. So Simon said, You are the anointed one of God. But you're not going to say, I'm the anointed man of God. Ah. When you're saying of the anointed man of God, you're saying of the Christ. To say the Christ, it's an English word derived from Greek, which is Christos, derived from Hebrew, Mashak. So when you hear, even you, you say, you're going to say, I heard the man of God, they say the Christ. That's what he said, the way of people say, of the Christ. They don't come saying of the Christ, they can't say of the anointed man of God. Peter said, you see, you are the Christ, you, you are the Christ. That's not the anointed one of God, you are the one. The son of living God. Verse 17. Next verse. Verse 17. And Jesus answered. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Thou art son of Badona. Blessed art thy Simon Badona. You also are not giving you a name. You are Simon Badona. I don't want to explain Badona. We'll explain some other time. I don't have time. 
that hearing this saying. You hear and you don't drink. You hear and drink them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. Now what to find the foolish man? What to find there? Shall be likened unto a foolish man. Will you go to his house open? Sir, this guy was lazy. See, they were thinking upon the rock, chisel, and the hammer. It's very simple. Where is the sand? With the shovel. Ka, 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 nyumba, manga. See? So, this man was thinking his wife. When he looked at the wife's builder, when he was building his house, going to the cross, people beating him, suffering. He said, ah, that guy is a foolish. That's why at one point uh, the foolish man said, why do you want to go to the cross? Just worship me and I'll give you. Then the foolish man said, no, we need a rock, we need a chisel, we need a hammer. The foundation must burn the rock. So who is the foolish man? The devil. Read verse 27. I'll show you with evidence. And the lay descended. When the rains came, and the floods came, the floods came, and the winds, the winds blew, and the beat upon it the beat house, it beat upon the house, and it fell, it fell, did we just fall? And the great was the fall of how oh, oh, was the fall? The great. You don't know what you can say the the the, the fall was the great. Who has a mystery of falling a great fall in the Bible except the devil? Who in this Bible has a history of a great fall? I saw a lot at the time of falling. He was shocked. He said, How did you fall? Go to Isaiah 14. I was in the foolish man, the devil. Isaiah 14 is the professor of love. How art thou? Ah, 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 ah. Bro, when I saw it, you looked at me and said, What the party? <laughs> Just speaking, but you don't know me. 
what's good in you. You know, Daniel saw God that said, He who has a white hair. So, if you are seeing white hair, and you said, ah, I go down, down. <laughs> yes, he is the ancient of days. His power cannot be comprehended in his process of thinking. And he looked, Isaiah looked at it and said, Ni kubwa wapwa. The falling of the table. Look at the table. And the seven returning again. So Jesus said the seven and gave the power to chase out demons and devils. And they came back, they were smiling. <laughs> this is what's happening today. When they do demons anymore, they start smiling. That a vegetic, a vegetic. They came back smiling. Yes. Uh, Saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. So, the devils are subject unto us. You know, there's a source of the book. What did Jesus say? Verse number 18. Verse number 18. And he said unto them, yes. I beheld Satan as he lighted me fall from heaven. <laughs> Look at this. They are rejoicing. We have chased the devils. What did Jesus say? Did he reply to them? I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. That's why Isaiah saw it as a pop up watch. But they are one pop up. But the way they said that Satan was. Just like the way he fell, it was like lightning. Oh, ah! Ah, God, Satan. The great thing. Isaiah! Ah, no, you've got back. Give us the previous slide. But some of them are TV, my 56 
was laid. Now it's upon a man to build with the right material. Some are building with wood, some are building with straw, some are building with stones. You like, no, a woman at a party, we need a bit cold. Why don't you just do deliverance once? There's no deliverance greater than that we are doing here. As we preach to you, you are filled with the true doctrine of Christ and the substance of Christ is coming into you. You are becoming like Christ. How can a demon live in you when you are becoming like Christ? So what are the great deliverances then? The disciples said about Dagon. They took the ark of God. They put it before Dagon. They never said, out, out. No, they placed the ark of God. Dagon felt that like, this thing which is against me, let me fall. They placed the present of God. That God himself felt like, I cannot stand with this one. Let me fall. That God fell. They came in the morning, they found that God. That God was a That God was a man. That God was a They took that God out. They woke up. What kind of a God are you? You're falling just before this box. They took that God. They returned him. They went to see him. On the next day when they came, what happens? Not just a falling, a great one. Quite a great one. Quite a great one. They never shouted him, fire. They just left the presence of. If the presence of God starts living in you, you don't need to shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this my fire, it's like it's like you see a cockroach, your your, your cockroach smells. You see a cockroach on a stove where you are cooking and the stove is red hot. Do you shout fire? You just say leave it, it will be roasted there. It will experience the fire on the stove. People, these people shouting fire, there is no fire there. When there is fire, you don't shout. What do you shout? Just leave it. You will see the fire. We want to to die. So why are you warning them that there is a fire? What? <laughs> My friend, if you are on fire, do you need someone to tell you that what? <laughs> this this, this demon was saying in church is here. What? What? Oh, the God. The boss is here. <laughs> if, if truly, truly we are killing demons with our fire, how many are still alive right now? See fire, that fire. If that was killing demons, how many should be alive? Since they started shouting fire. By now, no demons should be living. See, these demons are dying and resurrecting, dying and resurrecting. I kill all the witches. You kill the, all of them. Next week again, you are killing them. Pastor, last week, no one last, last week you said you are killing all the witches. So which ones are you killing today? I thought what died last week. Are they resurrected? Are they Lazarus? Let's one of it. We want to thank God that we are founded on a sure foundation. The foundation that is unshakable. The foundation that cannot flood gates of hell. Of hell. 